How's it going, you pencil pushers? It's Nick Daniels here, uh, coming at you live with another little vlog here. Today is going to be a bit of a rant video here. Sorry, there was a guy walking right there. That would have been really awkward. Um, bit of a rant video here, vlog, whatever you want to call it, review. I don't fucking know. Um, so I played Fallout 76 last night. Got about an hour into it. Um, and I want to give you uh, kind of like a thoughts on it. I find something really funny though. I will say this right off the get go. A lot of YouTubers, they, they name it like my honest opinion of Fallout. Like, I don't know why someone would give a fucking unhonest opinion of Fallout. Like, I just don't understand. Like, what, 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 what do you have to gain from being like, oh my god, I love this game so much. You get like that British accent going. That it's always like these British guys that are always just praising it up and down. Or like the guys that are, you know, just way too overhyped about the game. And they're like just going crazy about it. And uh, no. No. The point of this is it's not a cookie cutter video, okay? And I hate cookie cutter videos. You get a guy, they have the gameplay and they have their voice going over top of it and there's like 15,000 videos in one day that are all look like identical to that. How many people are driving with a friggin' GoPro like this and just ranting about that? Not very many people. Point of the video. I played Fallout 76 last night and I'm telling you I have watched a few videos on what people have thought and then I played it myself and I got a better idea. I got an idea, I got an idea of what I was looking at here. And I'm telling you, some of the criticisms are fair, but I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it to you what I think, and none of this honest BS. I'm just gonna give it to you truthfully. Uh, 100% truthfully. I don't believe in, oh, I have to give you a quote-unquote honest review and then put that in the title because apparently I wouldn't give you an honest review other words, otherwise. To me, it wouldn't even seem like you were trustworthy to put honest in the title. You shouldn't even have to. You should automatically just be trustworthy. Point being said. We're done that part of the rant. Let's get into the gameplay. So the game itself, I played for about an hour and I actually kind of enjoyed it, not going to lie. Uh, running around... I could hear, it was really funny because I could hear people getting fucking pissed because this one guy had a mechanical keyboard and he was hitting it way too loudly and you could just hear him just do, 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 like you could hear every key he was hitting and he had his microphone going the whole time and he was just like swearing about how he had to get used to the controls and it was, it was a good time and then he also heard people cursing him out because they could hear the mechanical keyboard and they're like, man, does he type it loud enough over there? And like, you'd hear comments and it was very very amusing. I re very much enjoyed this part of my gameplay. Um, character customization I wasn't really crazy about, and a lot of the gameplay does kind of feel like Fallout 4. Uh, like, in my opinion, it is almost like a carbon copy, but they've added and removed a few things, so it, more or less it's like a DLC. Now, the biggest problem that I will say, and this is what I experienced within one hour, is I actually quite enjoyed the one hour of gameplay. I will be honest, I really did. But my real concern is after playing for so many hours, I feel like you'd really get bored because there's no quests. It's just leveling up, getting some gear, right? That's it. And like, if you look at like a lot, like not every MMO, but a lot of MMOs out there, and this is supposed to be, and I don't know if it's supposed to be classified as an MMO, but a lot of these MMOs out there do have, right, that level of progression and quests and such. And I notice they're doing it here in certain ways, like they're, they're, they're locking weapons that you can't use until level 12. Like for an example, um, and I'm assuming the same would be with gear. I like that you could like craft some ammo. I do like the fact that your character gets dehydrated and hungry. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but overall, I think that it would just get really boring after a while, like especially in a Fallout game where you just, you, you know, once you've explored, right, there are points that you're just not exploring anymore. There's no quests, there's no NPCs, and that's what really makes a Fallout game, right? And I'm really, con I'm really wondering about that, how that will really translate into the into the full release, uh, which we're about two weeks away from. Now that's, like I said, that's to be seen. That that is, that is not. Um, it's up in the air, right? That that game is up in the air. And, and upon reviewing, um, well, actually reviewing reviews, um, a lot of people kind of said the same thing. Right? I enjoyed it. The first little bit's great. Right, We played for four hours, had a good time. Like It was quite enjoyable. But they're wondering what the longevity of it's going to be. Now, I didn't PvP any, so I'm not giving you like a full in-depth review of doing every little single thing in that. That's not what I'm doing. I'm literally just played for an hour, and I'm just going to tell you what I thought. And that's what I thought. 
it was okay, it was quite enjoyable. I would definitely play it again, and I could see myself playing it for a while, but I'm telling you, the longevity of that game may or may not be very long. And I'm assuming they would add things in to keep that, to try to keep that going. And like, you know, for example, like increasing the level cap, bringing out new gear, new, new missions. Um, I know they do like little events where you come in and you kill so many enemies and everybody gets together and does it, um, like a local event. So maybe do something more of that, that kind of idea. I don't have a lot of solutions at the moment. I haven't really thought about this a whole lot. Uh, this is really just a video right on the fly, but I feel like, uh, I don't know, I've kind of hit the main points. Uh, so I don't know. I will let you folks determine if you want to do it or not. Do you want to buy it? Do you not want to buy it? I understand. If you don't want to play it, that's absolutely cool, and I get that, and I also respect it. But if you do want to try it, I also respect that in the sense that you're going to stick with the series, you're going to try it out either way, because you may still have doubts. I have doubts, but I've bought the game, and I'm going to try it, right? I mean, worst-case scenario, I could just email Bethesda and be like, hey, I don't like this. We'll see how that goes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, if you watch the end of the video, it's cool. It's respectful. Uh, Patty, if you're watching there, Patty, um, thanks for watching, bud. We'll see you in class. All right, and um, that's it. Peace.